Any private equity or venture capitalist firm believe that ethics and business quite simply don't mix. I don't think that was their issue, Peter. But you put up a good fight. Well, thank very you very much. To watch. Thank you very much. Entrepreneurs often think the best way to the dragon's cash is through their... Hello, dragons. Uh, my name's Peter Hopton, and I am from Very PC. Very PC have come here today to ask you for £250,000 for 5% of the firm. Very PC manufacture the world's most energy efficient computer equipment. At the moment, the entire IT industry is responsible for more CO2 than the aviation industry. And a normal home PC has a power consumption of around 100 watts, or in some cases, as much as 200 watts. Very PC designed green PCs with a three-step system. The first, economy. We design our machines to be more energy efficient and better in that respect than normal PCs. For example, the Triton PC here replaces a home PC like for like, and only using 29.6 watts of electricity on average. And this is a green server using half the power consumption of even the most energy efficient servers from big IT companies. The second point is ecology. We design our machines to be recyclable as much as possible. The third point is performance. The machines perform like the computer the customer would have purchased anyway, providing huge amounts of electricity savings and also an ecological point of view. Very PC have been trading for four years. We have grown significantly since winning some major national and international awards, such as the PC Pro Award there. At the moment, we're looking at growth of 30% quarter on quarter. Next month, we're hoping to turn over £100,000. And our margins are better than expected for the IT industry. So, any questions, Dragons? Bold claims about his green credentials, confident of his financial performance. Will these be enough to help 26-year-old entrepreneur Peter Hopton secure a quarter of a million pound cash injection from the Dragons in return for just 5% of his very PC IT firm? Um, just give me a bit more detail. So if I go to PC World and I buy a monitor with a PC in today's market, what am I going to pay for that? Um, I'd imagine... Maybe £300 or so. OK, and the equivalent from you would cost what? Uh, maybe 330 350 Not a lot more, definitely. OK, so between 10 and 15% higher yes. than the kind of high street comparison. Indeed. OK, and your projection for this year, from a profitability point of view, is what? OK, if we looked at the year end, which is actually the end of February, showed um, a turnover of £368,000. Yeah. A gross profit of around 120,000 yeah. and a uh, net profit at the bottom of about 24,000. Okay. Apply that same 12 months going forward now, February to 09. We'd expect a net at the bottom of, uh, of 100,000 or so. Although Peter seems happy with his figures, an investor would struggle to make their quarter of a million pounds back with just 5% of the business. Meanwhile, technology expert Peter Jones has been looking increasingly disgruntled. I'm Peter. Hi. Hello, Peter. Um, you value your business at £5 million. How do you justify that? Uh, we've talked, obviously, with a number of people previously about investment. Are they, are they in this country or are they living on the They're in this planet? country, indeed, yes. Uh, not are on the planet at all. They are. They're VC and private equity firms within the city. And they were willing to invest at that level? They were looking at it seriously. And why didn't they invest? Uh, we, we, we were very open and very honest with them about. So you were honest? You. So you told them that this is a. We, we told pretty them averagely crap business and there's no point in definitely investing. Definitely not averagely crap. It's, it's got a very, very strong brand. See, what's position. annoyed me is that I know this market very, very well yeah, and you're sort of 20 years behind. And actually, you're so. calling yourself green and I'm, I'm actually almost insulted by it. You're about as green as a carrier bag. Right, and why's that? Because if I was to install now a system which was one server with 54 screens on a desktop, yes. I would be far more green in your eyes than your system. The, the problem with that... Is that not be, correct? So one server... One server. 54 terminals. 54 terminals. The server's power consumption is going to be around 300 watts. How, how many screens do you get on that desktop? Seven. How many do you need for 54 terminals? For 54, you'd need eight. And how, what's the total output? Um, eight times 60. So you're not greener, are you? 
However, no, sorry, no, no. The heat from these units will Peter, be in the Peter, office. Peter, Peter, don't, don't you, avoid. You, you understand me. You're making me. The two Peters are locking horns in a technological battle of wits. You're you've got the dumb terminals you're not considering. You've got the switch gear you're not considering. And I you're don't also not need switch gear to put a, a, a 54 dumb terminal system into a building. High tech accusations are flying all over the den, and very PCs, green credentials, are being called into question. Run dumb terminals are RS232. Okay. Fair enough. You could run the Maris 232. It'd be a bit of an old-fashioned way to do it. I could do it, though, couldn't I? You, you... After the toing and froing, a confused Duncan Bannatyne had his say. Peter, I didn't understand everything you said. But okay. I'm 100 percent behind you, and I believe everything you said. Thank you. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> to Fair Peter. enough. Peter, I've never had such rubbish in my life. I'm out. Peter has received short shrift from a scornful Duncan Bannatyne who declares himself out. Now, an agitated Theopathetis wants to know where the intrinsic value of the business lies for an investor. What's in your PC that's proprietary that makes your business worth five million pounds? Don't think of this as a technology investment. This is a brand investment. But you have okay. also okay. the technology and the know-how from our design team that have produced all these great well, products well, that have won well, numerous well, awards. But, 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 right, so I'm going to ask you the question again. Okay. Try this time to answer it. OK. What's in your PC that's proprietary that makes your business worth £5 million? Nothing at all. It's all off the shelf. So you've got nothing that's proprietary? Well, except for maybe um, the BIOS and the software that we program into the machine to further reduce the power consumption, um, which, which is our own. But Peter, I can say you've come into the den today and you've insulted my intelligence to the level which I'm seething with rage. You've said, I've got nothing unique, but I have a brand. And my brand is called Very PC. I know none of you have heard of it, but trust me, it's very, very valuable. I haven't assumed that any of you have not heard of the brand. I would have expe expected maybe one of you to have heard of our brand, given the exposure we've had, at least. Right, before I finish, has anybody heard of the brand? No. Nope. Right, Peter, I'm out. It's Peter's second roasting by a dragon. His marketing expert, Deborah Meaden, about to make it three in a row. This brand that's worth £5 million, pound, is this the same brand that's producing £24,000 in net profit? Indeed. This is, it became a big brand in December when we had a huge amount no, of... No, this is not exposure. a big brand. Please stop referring to it as a big brand. The only value of a brand is the cash it can generate. There has to be there, its capital. This is generating £24,000 in net profit. The brand is not worth anywhere near £5 million. The thing that's unique is our pounds. design and a design that politically cannot be copied Peter, by large Peter, IT firms. just terms. pause a second so I can say I'm out. Sure, please do. I'm out. Thank you. Peter has clearly riled the multi-millionaire investors and his pitch is spiralling out of control. James Kahn steps in to have his say. I run a private equity firm, so I understand yes. the conversations that you've been having. Private equity deals in fact and reality, and I'm giving you the benefit of your projection and saying that you said you would deliver a profit of £100,000 yes. and a £5 million valuation. My maths are not great, but that's 50 times earnings. Yet IBM is not on 50 times earnings. You know, if they were lucky today, they might be at 20 times earnings. But, but you are saying to me that my brand is twice as good and more powerful in financial terms than even IBM. No, please do make me a counteroffer and I'll consider I'll it. tell you the offer I'm going to make you, Peter. I'm out. OK. Peter? It's mutton dressed as lamb. You know, you must be very disappointed in your own personal performance. Oh, not at all. I, I think I've done you very well be. today in, in, in countering your questions. This isn't very PC, it's very poor. And I think you need to understand, go back to the drawing board, of what you really want to do with your business. So on that basis, I can't invest, and that's why I'm out. Thank you, everybody. It's a crushing finale to a stormy pitch. Peter Hopton never recovered from the Dragon's initial belief that his company's valuation was massively overblown. And he walks away with the sound of fury ringing in his ears.
Well, Peter, that was obviously pretty atrocious. Uh, what's your diagnosis as to what went wrong there? Well, um, first of all, I, I'm rather uh, appalled and disgusted at the fact that they called us uh, not a green brand. Our claims have been independently substantiated by a number of people, um, from charities to industry experts. Ethical firms find it very, very difficult to get investment in the UK. Um, because really any private equity or venture capitalist firm believe that ethics and business quite simply don't mix. I don't think that was their issue, Peter. But you put up a good fight. Well, thank very you very much. To watch. Thank you very much. Entrepreneurs often think the best way to the dragon's cash is through their